So you bought a mirrorless camera and now you're looking for an underwater housing because you want to take your brand new camera underwater. But whilst you're searching, you'll probably find that the underwater housing is almost as expensive as your whole diving kit. But maybe there's a solution for that. Let's dive in. Welcome to 50 Below where we give you some straight up scuba advice. My name is Arjan and a few years back when we bought our first Sony mirrorless camera, we were facing the same problems. Of course, we went looking on the internet and found the gates and Nauticam houses, but they were so expensive that we couldn't afford them. So we went and found an alternative. We found the solution in the Seaprox underwater housing. This was our first model. We were very skeptic about it because it was only 250 bucks. What we did was dove with it for like five or six times with only paper inside of it because we were not sure we could put our precious camera inside it. After five or six dives, we finally had the courage to put our precious camera in it and dive with it for real. Everything went great and we have used it ever since for all our filming on the water with 50 feet below and also on diving trips abroad. Although we were very happy with it because it kept our camera dry and it was very cheap, it had some limitations. When you put the camera in, the buttons always, didn't always align very well, so some buttons didn't work. And also you can only use the housing with a certain set of lenses. Luckily for us, Seafrox decided to make another upgraded version, which promises to tackle these problems. First thing we noticed about this upgraded housing is that the price hasn't changed. It's still as cheap as the first generation, so that's very good. First things we noticed when the new housing came out of the box is the buttons. They are way nicer to operate. It's hard to describe, but it's like closing a car door. The one is a lot, of, a lot more clinky and the other one really goes shut with a oomph. And this is also with housing, when you operate the button, it just feels way better. Also what we like is the fact that the camera fits better in their housing. So when you put it in, it aligns better with the buttons. So all the buttons actually work and you can also operate everything on your camera. So all the buttons have a separate button on your housing. Another upgrade Seaprox has made is the clips on the side, which are metal now instead of plastic, and they open on both sides so you can get the whole back out of the camera. This is nice when you want to put the camera in or want to clean the O-ring and see if there's any dirt there. Another big thing for us to upgrade to this new model is the fact that you can get different ports with it. This is a dome port, this is a six inch. There are six different dome ports and four different flat ports. So there's a wide array of lenses which you can use with this underwater housing instead of the old one where you only got one choice. Um, you get the dome port separate, and it's around 200 bucks. You have to install it yourself, but it took us three or four minutes. And you also get the flat port as well. This makes a big difference because you can almost use all lenses Sony puts out and you don't have to stick with your kit lens. Other minor improvements are the fact that this one has a viewfinder. The other one didn't have one at all. This makes it easier to shoot photo and video in brighter conditions. Also, this has a vacuum pump system. You have to buy the vacuum pump separately, but the outlet is right here and you can use it whenever you want. The vacuum pump is around 130 bucks. So is the housing perfect? Uh, sadly, no, of course not. There are a few minor things we would like to see changed. First of all, the housing is quite broad, so it's hard to get your hand around it. It's really hard to, to hold your grip. So this is easily fixed by getting a tray or a pistol grip, but it will cost you extra. And also, if you buy a dome port with it, you always get the standard port with it. So you kind of pay for this. And we would like to see change that you can just get the port which you want and the other one they can keep and give you a bit of a discount maybe. So is the Seafrog Salted Line worth a buy. As you might have noticed in this review, we are very positive about it. We have made 150 dives with the previous version, which stayed dry at any time. And we're sure that this one will as well. We've made only a handful of dives with it because it's fairly new. Also, all the buttons are there, so all the functions of your camera are available, which is great news. And the price is just great. For little money, you get a full functioning underwater housing. 